Language Process Access Rights. In this video, we'll look at how to manage access rights on an individual process diagram, a process diagram and its lower levels, and an entire process map. Access rights can also be specified for a draft or master process. To start with, we'll consider an individual process diagram. From within the process, click the three dots icon, Manage Access Rights, and then this diagram. Set the default access rights as required. These apply to all users except for those specified under the access rights for specific users and groups below. To assign access rights to specific users and groups, enter the name of the user or group in the search field, select their access rights and click to add them. You can repeat this step for each user or group you want to add. You can also edit access rights and delete users and groups from here. Once you've finished, click OK. Now let's look at managing the access rights for a scope of process diagrams and an entire process map. From within the process, click the three dots icon and then Manage Access Rights. This time select across a scope. In this example, we'll choose to add a new user or group. The other options of removing and replacing work in very similar ways. In the search field, enter the name of the user or group you want to add and select their access rights. You can choose whether the access rights will apply to the current process diagram and the lower levels, or the entire process map. You'll be informed here of how many diagrams that includes. Once you've finished, click Add. In summary, Access rights can be specified for an individual process diagram, a process diagram and its lower levels, or an entire process map. And different access rights can be specified for a draft or a master process. Thanks for watching.